Hey, another secret energy, another actually secret leadership energy that you can use to supersize your business as soon as today. I am sharing from Cheryl Lightshu her leadership energy model of unlocking the secrets to success for you and for your business. And that's how we supersize our business. Remember, we have to become the leader that's capable of leading the organization that it is that we want to create. Today is day four. And the type of energy that she teaches us about in this chapter is called I care. An I care energy says what it means is I am completely loved and completely lovable. Now, before you freak out and you say business is about business, it's not about love. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Everything that we do in the world and everything in the world is about love, creating love and, and love, not in the romantic sense, but love in the, I care about other people. I care about giving of myself to make the world a better place. And if you don't agree with me on this, you might as well stop listening to me because that is inherent and the core foundation of my philosophy and how I teach people and how I determine who I'm going to work with and how I'm going to help people to grow and supersize their business. If you don't want to make the world a better place, don't come to me for help because I'm not your gal. Um, and do I know I can help anybody? Absolutely. But will I help you if your intentions are not good and you don't want to make the world a better place? Yeah, probably not. I'll send you to somebody else that can help you. So Cheryl, again, shares, and I just had an aha moment this morning about the stories of the people that she's sharing in the book. And what it does is it creates an open loop. So it continues me reading through the book because I want to know how each of these different people that she's introduced, how their story progresses and how it ends. It's actually really brilliant. So that's just an aside. That's something to always create open loops for people. But the leadership competencies that are, are brought out in this I care energy are remember we're looking at the from the Lom, Lominger Institute's leadership competencies they have 67 competencies that make what makes people a good leader and the three that are called out in this particular energy the I care energy are motivating others approachability and caring about direct reports now how you know if you've got open or closed I care energy is your relationship with other people and in these three key areas and you, there's two ways to go on this. You can either care too much and do too much for people and be overly um, accommodating, or you can go the opposite direction where you don't care about other people. All you care about is the work. And I will say I'm guilty of probably caring in both directions at certain times during my life and my career. But um, the way to get around that I care too much and I, I do things for other people and I enable them is to ask your, is to set, do this process. Goal for the task, have identified goal for the task, rewards for completing the task, consequences for not completing the task, possible obstacles, solutions to the obstacles, necessary action steps, date of completion, delegated to, target date, and today's date. So if you're one of those leaders that does everything for everybody else, this is how you get over and stop doing that. Now the energy, where this energy is located, as you can imagine, is center of your chest, for your heart. So if you're, Having experiences or things from the past where you say, oh, that broke my heart. I can relate to that because I actually had a sudden cardiac arrest, which is called broken heart syndrome. So obviously, I care energy is a, an area that I've had challenges and issues with, which is why the awareness activities for this are so powerful for me personally and probably for many of you listening. If you're a workaholic like I came from and um, always working, 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 then probably your eye care energy is a little bit blocked. And so there's two ways that we're going to deal with that, through forgiveness and through gratitude, which are two of my favorite things. So she gives us a forgiveness uh, exercise. And I love that she quotes Dr. Beatrice Berry, who says in the book, I'm on my way, but your foot is on my head. She says, forgiveness is not letting someone off the hook. It is getting off the hook they put us on. Do we know how powerful that is? We so often struggle with forgiveness because we feel like we're, we're letting somebody else off the hook. But we're not. We're just letting ourselves off the hook. So she gives us a strategy for that. And the other big one is gratitude. We have to be grateful for things. And other suggestions besides being grateful to open our eye care energy. And gratitude is defined by the quality of being thankful. Readiness to show appreciation for and to return kindness. Yep, that's gratitude. So other suggestions for opening this aspect of our heart before we get to the exercises are write thank you notes, own a pet, give away your last bite. I love that of dessert. That's the hardest. 
read your past journals and have compassion for who you were and who you are, a hand massage, and look in the mirror and state what you are thankful for about you. That is a really good one. Every morning we should start our day saying, I unconditionally love and accept myself right now, and I am grateful for ABC. I think I'm going to incorporate that into mine because I don't do I am grateful for as I'm looking myself in the eye in the morning. But the exercises that Cheryl gives us are, and I'm resisting this one, which is an indication to me that I need to do this one the most. She says, forgiveness is the first exercise and gratitude is the second exercise. The first exercise, we're going to identify a person or an event that continues to cause us hurt or rejection. It may be a recent event or something from the past. Step two, we're going to journal about that event and answer these questions. Write in detail about what happened. Why do you think that caused you hurt or rejection? How do you feel about the situation right now? Write about your feelings at the time you are doing this exercise. And four, what or who can you forgive right now? Don't worry about who or what you should forgive. What or who can you and are you willing to get forgive right now? If you answer nothing, that's fine. Be honest with yourself and just move on to the next step. The next step is not to force responses. One word is fine and be honest. Step four, once you've done, set your journal aside, mark your calendar, and then revisit it in a week, and then re-answer these same questions. Continue to do this process until you get to the point where you can say, I'm bored with this activity, I've forgiven myself, the situation, and all parties involved. That's it. So I'll be starting that today. The second one is gratitude, and she says, think of your typical day and think of something that you do every single day. Maybe you drive to customers' places. Maybe you brush your teeth twice a day. Whatever it is, pick up something because we want to create a positive trigger to make us automatically think of and be grateful for something during one of these trigger points. So I actually use my brushing my teeth. As soon as I put the toothpaste on my toothbrush, that triggers me to a little rampage of gratitude where I think of things that I'm grateful for. So she says, pick something that you do every day, and as soon as you set a trigger to something in that, ask yourself, what am I grateful for at this very moment? At this moment in time, what am I grateful for? And just start letting your brain throw out a couple of things. That's it. Awesome chapter. I hope you got as much out of it as I did. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below because I would love to expound more on this. And again, Cheryl Lightshoe is going to be at the Women's Summit in January. So I'm really excited to have her as a guest telling you all about these amazing things herself. That's it. Have a fantastic day. I'll see you tomorrow with another leadership energy that you can use to supersize your business.